So on today's episode, episode 10 of the 100 Things a Man Wants video series, today's topic, we discuss the fact that men want to make love, not just bust a nut and be done. Stay tuned. So coach, I'm having problems with my relationship. What do these men want? Well, they want many things. But fortunate for you, I took the liberty to put it in a new video series. You can catch it on my YouTube channel every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe. All right, coach, let me do that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love, you move the fast for me. So hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Karan Pierre, and if you don't know me, I'm a life coach and your relationship guy. Hopefully, we can work together in the future. Now, before we get started, please take the time to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you get all the notifications, and then like the video so more cool people could check out this video. Now, let's talk about it. So yeah, today we have a very, very interesting topic. And I'm just going to say this word once, the respect, the algorithm. When we talk about sexual responsiveness throughout this video, the code word will be SR. So, and it's complete SR. And I'm going to explain why I say that. That's what men want. So the SR cycle refers to the sequence of physical and emotional changes that occur as a person becomes aroused and participates in Stimulating activities, including copulation and masturbation. Knowing your body response during each phase of the cycle can enhance your relationship and pinpoint the cause of any problems, okay? So that's a brief description of what SR is. So the five phases of the cycle is desire, excitement, plateau, the climax, and the resolution. I want to talk about each one briefly. So when we talk about desire, right? Desire is often defined as someone who wants to experience uh, SR, feelings and activities, intimacy, gratification, with or without a partner, right? And there are many influence on this desire and it's achieved differently the different people. So when we talk about the desire, we're saying that simply someone has an interest in engaging in SR and initiating the cycle. Maybe you have a moment in time where you think about the last time you may have gotten some, right? That can initiate one's desire. When we talk about excitement, so arousal, is the next part of SR where a person is becoming excited. Arousal usually begins in the brain. The brain sends messages throughout the body to prepare us for SR. This arousal can be stimulated by thought, fantasy, conversation, smell, touch, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what we mean by that. So it could also be that moment where <laughs> Your man makes reference to the sun rising, and you know exactly what he means. And that excites you too. So we're just completing going through the phase together, right? In a monogamous relationship. This is what your man wants. Your man wants to go down this journey. So the next phase would be the plateau phase. So contrary to the word, the plateau phase of SR is not a leveling of SR excitement. It actually continues to grow, and this phase may last several seconds. A person may feel physical and emotional excitement, have physically sensations of sensitivity, warmth, and even appear flushed. This phase can take a person to a level of altered consciousness, right? And is typically referred as, or is typically referred to as the heat of the moment, being in the throes of passion, right? So an example of this would be, he tells you he's going to leave it in when he's supposed to take it out. 
So you allow your mind to wrap it up on that. But I'm just trying to give you an example of, of different phases throughout the cycle so we can have a better understanding. So then next phase is climax. And climax is self-explanatory, right? We don't have to go through uh, a technical definition. We all know what that entails, or we should hopefully know what that entails. But the one key element to climaxing is the fact that when I say that a man wants to complete the SR cycle, I am talking about he wants the climax to be mutual. He doesn't just want the climax to be for himself. Why do I say that? Because I'm talking about a monogamous man. When we do this series, 100 episodes, each episode is catered to the monogamous man. I have a disclaimer, breaking down exactly what I'm talking about. I can link it at this point in the video so you have a grander understanding of what a man wants and what I mean by that. So the key to this is you have to climax too. And not just fake the climax, really have to climax. He has to know that you have done it. That's going to make him feel accomplished. That's going to boost his ego. So like how we talked about in the first episode, if you had not seen it, go watch that as well. Uh, it's going to do a lot for that man to know that. Right? And we will talk about some suggestions on how you get to that point a little later. But um, so after this phase, you then get to the resolution phase, which is a very important phase. Resolution, the end stage of the SR cycle during the resolution period, uh, relaxation of the muscles as well as psychologically will occur. The blood that has moved into the private areas will drain out slowly. The body returns to the way it was before arousal. And resolution happens typically whether or not someone experiences a climax. But the climax is important, ladies, because that's what a man truly wants. And he doesn't want to be the only one to do it. He's going to feel like less than if he is the only one to do that. Okay? So, also, a good example of what can happen during the resolution process is uh, you could fall asleep. <laughs> it could be a refractory period for you know what? Going again. Or pillow talk, like I said, uh, on episode six, man wants pillow talk. Go check that video out. As I go further along in the series, all of these videos you will see are connected in some to some degree, especially the next couple of videos. It's gonna get even more crazier. It's gonna turn up, I promise. But pillow talk, this is a perfect time for that. Men want to have pillow talk, right? The monogamous man wants pillow talk. So it's deeper than just the S word, the three letter S word, right? It's about completing the entire cycle and both parties reaching that climax, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to keep it censored for the algorithm of the platform, okay? The next question would be, why do men want to complete the cycle together, right? Where both parties climax. It's important in a relationship when we look at the brain and the hormonal benefits, climaxes releases oxytocin, which is the feel good hormone that bonds us. This is why when couples begin to feel that they are drifting or growing apart, they're most likely to report a lack of SR, or not completing the SR thoroughly where only one part partner is constantly being left out of the climax phase. That will create dissension over time. Now, once in a while, it's fine, but both parties should achieve that, and the man wants both 
partners to achieve that. <laughs> so what are some ways we could implement this? One of the things you can do is have clear communication on both sides, right? And typically a man will tell you exactly what he likes and desires and wants, right? But you can be forthright and share your desires and wants, you know, where you like it, how you like it. Don't have to get too graphic. Where's the spots, you know? <laughs> so stuff like that, right? You want to be able to communicate your desires, right? On that intimate level. So when it's time to go through the cycle, each partner has a better way to navigate during that time. Another thing I want to introduce is maintenance lovemaking. Now, maintenance lovemaking is okay when it's occasional. Right? Maintenance, lovemaking is when one partner is not really in the mood, but it's a let's do it anyway mentality, right? And it may be planned or may not be planned, right? However, implementing maintenance, lovemaking definitely is essential to the success of long term relationships. So, as we see, maintenance lovemaking definitely has its benefits. You implement the maintenance. Now, the maintenance lovemaking is something that is reciprocal. It isn't forced. It's done in a way, especially when you're going through the SR cycle and you're active in each phase, just because one partner doesn't initially have the desire, it doesn't mean that that partner can't be turned on through a process. And like I said, in, when you're communicating and letting each other know exactly what it is you want. So that's all for this video. I don't want to make it too long, right? I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please. Leave it in the comment box below so we can talk about it, okay? And be respectful to the YouTube algorithm. If it is something that it may be a little too uh, extreme for the platform, you can send me an email, info at karanpierre.com, okay? And we can talk about it. So until next time, stay blessed. i